Hello and welcome to the video that's going to show you how you'll never miss an appointment again. Hi, so if you haven't already, uh, head on over to iCloud.com. Are you there yet? Great. So um, to access the calendar, um, log on to iCloud.com and you'll be taken to um, a screen where you'll see a calendar app which will show the date today. If you are on Chrome, this icon might look a little bit jumbled. So, click on the icon and you will be taken to today. As you can see, um, you can see an overview here on the Day tab. You can see exactly what today is, what the recording date is, a little bit of an overview. <laughs> These are just reminders to myself um, and here's uh, reminders more in detail on a 24-hour setting. Great, so let me introduce a little bit about what you can do. So you can add appointments to here and it will ping reminders to your iPhone or iPad so that you never really miss anything on your calendar. And one of the great things about digital calendars is that you can also share this. This is something you cannot do with paper, and God forbid you lose a paper calendar. You lose everything. But fear not, um, on this iCloud calendar, you can um, make different calendars, divide your personal life from your work life, and also have a birthdays calendar. Great. So... Let's try to add an event. Now there are several ways of doing this. One, you can go to the day that you want something to happen and you can um, basically double click it and something will pop up. Or you can click on here, the plus sign for a new event, but you have to specify the time. Or you can go here and click on new event under the little gears icon. So I like to actually find the event, the date, and then start going from there. Say a month from now. Say on May 11th that I want to do something. So I would double click on that and I'd say do something. And location, doing it at my house um, all day. Do something all day on Sunday. And you can change it to Pacific Time, Central Time. You can repeat it if you want to. Um, you can also alert yourself and invite other people to do something with you. Add a picture of somebody doing something so you know what doing something is and other various notes. Now, I can specify this to work home or holidays and in this case it's more important to me to just do work on that day um, so I'm gonna click on work after you click OK um, it should be there so if we go to May 11th hold on one second if we go to May 11th and we kind of look at it oh there's a do something event all day and you can look at it May 11th do something all day and you can also tweak the different times um, so that's on how to make a new event in a nutshell you can also delete events make a new calendar I can just make a new calendar if I wanted to I can title it fun and it's automatically a different color so and if you want to do something more advanced um, if you want a five day a week calendar for work you can do that you can start your day or uh, Sunday show 12 or 24 hours at a time show birthdays you know tweak the date format if you're in Europe and change the hour formats to military time or 12 hour times. There's also more advanced settings if you're traveling. You can hide old events and update. 
There's lots of things that you can do with your this app. Generally, very clear. You can see a day view, a week view, and a month view. So this is a brief overview of what you can do with iCloud Calendar. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.